Hey up everybody, I'm on part 4 of my trailing pony truck, uh, in parts 1, 2 and 3 you'll have seen me make all these components and in this part I'm going to assemble everything up and fit it onto loco and see how we go with that. So first of all then I'm going to assemble the uh, the control bar and all its components because that actually fits on loco separately to the rest of it that fastens in between frames right so if you remember in my last part I silver soldered one of the bosses on one, one has to be fixed one has to be loose so that when you put it in your frames you've just got that adjustment for it to take up in the frames in between the frames so it wants it wants a spring on it wants a control follower bush on and then it wants a roll pin in, in each of them holes just had to go and grind a sham front roll pin it wouldn't start into hole Another follower, another spring goes up to this second roll pin then. So that's the control bar then, fits in between the frames with two, what size are they, um, 4BA screws on each end. You'll have already, you'll, you will have already got those holes in your frames if you've done all your holes when you initially started. And that angle there is to clear where the cutout is, where the wheels go. Now I'm going to put the radius plate onto the top plate on those three central holes there. Put the bearing block on next. Again that's two 4BA screws. Control fork next. And then it's the bottom plate, so I've got the horn pillars already attached, four, four BA screws, and then you've got to put your spring housings underneath. with the springs in thread your wheels on with the oil hole facing upwards Then you've got to get the springs onto the top of axle boxes. Thank you. 
Then once on, once this is once the control bar is fitted into the low cone, that's going to fit in between the that way. And then the pivot pin will pick the bracket up on the frame. Right, to get this over the brake rod, I've got to jack the loco up. Uh, it's what it swings and roundabouts. This you could uh, you could either take all brake rod off and get to it that way, I suppose. Uh, but I'm going to just try and jack the loco up. Okay, then I've managed to get everything fitted now, and I couldn't film me doing it because my arms were underneath and round the loco. I'd got to jack the loco up to get underneath to do it. I just couldn't get the camera in a in a good position to show you what I was doing. Me my arms were obscuring everything. It's standing off at rail because obviously obviously it's still on rolling road, but it, it's all fitted and working okay. And I've put this mirror back underneath just to explain to you. So that's the control bar which bolts in between the frame and sits in that control fork on the top of this. And that's going to control the side to side movement on those, on those springs. And then you've got your axle box spring that's caught controlling your up and down movement. I've just got to put the brake rod back on. Pivot pin not to fit, which is there. So that's it for this uh, little part then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now then.